On today's High Watt Soundbite, we're digging out the manual. Well, the inspiration for today's session comes from this. Oh man, it is never too late to read a manual. Oh man, what an absolute blast processing audio with this synth. You know, I think I've had this access virus in my studio for almost 20 years, and I can't even begin to tell you the number of sounds that I've generated on this thing. But until last night, I had never run external audio through the external inputs, and I'm just blown away at what this thing can do. It's sort of unreal that this thing's been sitting right behind me for almost 20 years, and I have never accessed one of the most powerful things that this synth has to offer. The fact that it can manipulate and use all of its processing on external audio. Well, I believe I know where that stems from. I believe it starts with the manual. This is a particularly well-written manual, but there are some manuals that I've pulled out for gear that do nothing but frustrate me. And it's just literally a matter of minutes, a lot of times before I toss that manual, I put up that piece of gear and I just start button mashing. Well, that's a fun way to get to know a piece of gear, but there's no way that I'm gonna discover half of what this virus can do by button mashing. Certain point, I'm gonna have to get into this thing and kind of get into the next layer. So, you know, today's session is really not about the access virus at all. It's really more about taking a minute and looking around your studio and maybe revisiting a piece of gear that you haven't really fully sussed out yet. So the sort of rediscovery of the synth yesterday and last night is a really big deal. And, you know, I could have easily read into that manual 15 years ago and figured this out, but this discovery is no less inspiring today than it would have been 15 years ago. So it's never too late to pull out a manual. You know, I've talked about in past sessions how much I love knobs and buttons and actually playing and performing effects. Well, I'm gonna share a jam that I did last night and the source of the audio that's feeding the synth from last night's jam came from our alt mix of our collaboration under lockdown project. So I'm literally just feeding three tracks from that session into the external input of this thing. And this particular patch is a vocoder patch, but check out what you can get up to with this synth. It's unreal. Check it. <laughs>
there's no way that mousing around on a bunch of plugins is ever going to inspire me personally the way a knob and a button is. The way that that, that tactile feel and the immediate feedback that you get from that knob. Furthermore, the fact that you've got multiple knobs in front of you that you can control multiple parameters at the same time. This is something that exists in a physical piece of hardware that I really have a hard time replicating with plugins. So I was inspired to share this idea today because I believe that every single one of you probably have at least one piece of gear in your studio that have some layers that could still be kind of taken apart, right? More in-depth look at that piece of gear. I promise you, my rediscovery of this virus synth yesterday is gonna be a really big deal. There's no question. In fact, I might even leave it set up on my desktop like this because I love using it so much. Well, thank you very much for sitting in on today's session, and I hope this inspires you to read the manual. Oh, <laughs> my